Hey y'all, it's Jessica Ray Plays, and thank you so much for coming back to the channel. And today is your monthly shell challenge. To be exact, it is your February shell challenge. This is my one year anniversary doing shells with you guys. So I'm so excited to bring you guys this one. This one is a collab with a beautiful and amazing and talented simmer and YouTuber by the name of Mama Sour Patch. She actually made this one for me and I did go ahead and I deleted the bottom basement just because I know that February is a shorter month. So I'm so excited to bring you guys this there is some items that is going to be in this shell challenge that you have to use so I figured this beautiful wonderful heart-shaped pool and I was so pleased that I actually made this look like a freaking heart I was like pumped so here is some items that you guys have to use in the build now we do have this beautiful red chair we have this beautiful like neon bar stooly looking vibes I am bringing back the skeleton lady we got this beautiful pot thingy mabobber too as well and there is six beautiful little bears that you have to hide and you know try to surprise me with in your build so that's what those are there for so this is what my shell ends up looking like when i actually did the dang thing now i do realize that my pool is not centered to the door that i was creating so just 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 don't look at that because it's 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 a mess it's 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 a mess <laughs> However, I do cut you guys out of a lot of my build later on because I am going to hide my six bears from you guys and I want you guys to find them throughout the build. Now you might see them before I actually give you the guys a proper tour. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below if you find them. Don't say like where they are at just yet, but let me know, you know, maybe if you found one or two or three or if you found all six. Now I'm going to go ahead and say the rules for this challenge when it comes to these bears. Now, uh, I'm probably going to be struggling a bunch on stream trying to find all these bears. So there is one rule and that is like every given room or like area, there can only be one bear. So like your living room, your bedroom, like my pool area, you know, it can be only like one area that they can only hide one little item in just to kind of like keep it a little bit easier on me and for you guys as well. So if you find one in my kitchen then obviously that one's already done if you find one in my bathroom and that one's already done you know what i mean you get me and for the first time in probably a long time and this is the only build that i am going to actually say this has to be a residential build residential builds only please 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 and this is another time that i'm going to actually because of the bears and everything else only 30 by 20 or smaller lots that's right guys 30 by 20 or smaller lots for this challenge so not alone do you have to use the six bears and the skeleton lady and the pot and the chair and the little neon sign and the pool don't forget the pool because you have to use the pool as well has to be only residential and 30 by 20 or smaller so that is a challenge for you guys i can't wait to see what you guys do but this is what my build is turning out to look like so far i really 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 do love this place and i honestly i capped that little area at the tail end of the heart because i was like this will make it playable right here you can you guys can kind of see it not really that well but i figured that would make it where they could like step down and then get into the pool but i did play test it and for some reason you can not i don't know why that's it was so infuriating to me it was one of those moments when you're yelling at your sim and yelling at the sims team because you're like why why they have a step down they should be able to do it what's going on so when, oh, and when you download this shell, there is a platform inside. And I totally forgot about that. So let me bring it back to that. That is not going to be mandatory because I found out that adding my platform like deck, it threw off the inside a little bit. So if you want to move your platform around, you can because the platform where it is, is not where it's going to be for me. I actually did keep one but i've kept it in that, that little smaller section so that platform is not mandatory but if you do wish to use a platform in your builds you can please do so actually i would actually love to see a platform in one of your builds just because it's something new and it's something that i'm still struggling with myself but as for the house for itself let's get back to the beautiful red and white and black house that we got going on here I decided that it needed big humongous windows because I feel like this is definitely a modern one and now you guys are into the actual build where I skipped you guys through so I did go ahead and did the kitchen and I did the outside area now we are working on wait what did I just say 
I don't know what I said. I just did the bathroom in the outside area. We are currently walking on the kitchen and it's about done, to be honest. I actually used quite a bit of objects from the new pack, which I'm so excited. I cannot believe the quality of these items. I am obsessed with them. First of all, I was like, oh my gosh, the Sims team actually did quite a good job. Here's my bathroom. Those little plants are my favorite. Here's the outside. Ah, oh, I did make this whole shower area outside too. So you guys will get to see that when we do the actual official tour. I think that it just looks so freaking cute. And when we do the real tour, you guys will actually get to see the items that did not make it or have to be moved because they don't work when you're doing an actual play testing, which totally sucked really, really bad. It hurt my, it hurt my soul because I actually had to get rid of some of my items. But the freaking upstairs bed with the hearts and everything, I was like, yes. It brought me back to that moment when we used to have that beautiful bed that vibrated and had the hearts and everything. That's what I wanted to recreate, but obviously I know that I'm not gonna like get it right on the nail. But for now, we are currently working on the second area of the house and that is kind of like the seance room it's kind of like what i picture it to be now hilarious part is when i was actually building this house i had no idea that it was going to be a seance little area or do anything like this i legit thought modern red white black bachelor bachelorette pad but it turns out to be really cool and oh my gosh i totally forgot about the neon thing and i was like oh my god i can't believe i forgot about my own thing that i put out there so i was like well, you know what we can do this i can sauce it up and make it look cute so boom bar area hidden kind of bar area but even though your sims seem to always freaking know that that's a bar and they always go to it every single time but that's what it is, and I made some cute little outside furniture area too, just to kind of fit in with it. And then as for the upstairs area, the actual bedroom, I was like, okay, what to do up here? What should I do? And there was a certain rug that I was looking for, but I couldn't find it. But instead I was like, you know what? We've already went there. We've already went to the seance, <laughs> oh my gosh, whatever that word is. So why not go ahead and just stick the whole freaking thing on the floor? Why not? So I just added in a mirror in a beautiful like little change in area so they could do all that stuff. Added a red chair in the corner. And obviously we had to have the little shoe rack. But now that the house is done, let me take you on a tour so maybe you can try to find some of my hidden bears. So first up is the cute and adorable, probably my favorite area. It's this pool area. Oh my gosh, just look at this, how it turned out. See, why can't you step down? Why doesn't it work? I don't know. I have bubbles. I have everything. Oh, I just love this. Imagine just sitting out there and having a barbecue, entertaining your friends and everything. And imagine taking a shower literally outside so you can freshen up before you get in the pool and after you get in the pool. But seriously, that's probably one of my favorite areas ever. But now let's kick it inside and look. It's so cute. I really, really do love this. Don't imagine Mortimer Goth came in my house and he stole one of my freaking counters. Of course, Mortimer had to come in here and ruin my precious build. But don't worry, if you download this, it will be there, I promise. <laughs> but of course, leave it up to Mortimer to ruin my stuff. But of course, here it is. And now we are moving on to the bathroom, which is probably one of my favorites. I don't know why, but look how freaking cute. I swear, those things are so bomb. Look how freaking amazing. Okay, best quality ever. Love this pack. Best ever. And of course, here it is. Here's the bathroom. It has a shower, a tub, a sink, a toilet, you know, everything that you need. The rug is seriously probably one of my gorgeous areas now too. Now let's head it upstairs so I can show you the rest of it. Oh, <laughs> we actually jumped up on the patio. Go freaking figure, but that's fine. We can definitely like show you this little area. Definitely one of my favorites. Again, I mean, look at it. You can literally just stand here and look off of your balcony and look at how gorgeous the view is. I mean, I can imagine, especially in my little birdie area. Oh, so cute. I know. <laughs> but then if we do hightail it inside, and don't mind, and my lady is actually coming down. So the couch did not work and the end table did not work and that thing had to be moved as well because they were blocking the freaking exit, I guess, in the entrance ways. So the, the seance table does work. Everything that you see does actually fit and work in here in this area. 
unfortunately just my beautiful couch and everything had to get removed and this is the beautiful flower bed inside the house i love the way that this turned out let me know if you see anything in there let me know how it turned out because of the fence and everything like the way that it landed the staircase there was like this like one little strip so i turned it into like a little flower bed inside and i thought it was so freaking cute i love it but this is the master bedroom i definitely feel like this suits this person so much because i feel like if you have this big extravagant outside and this nice bathroom and everything else all but that would suck having to go down two floors of stairs to get into the pot <laughs> but oh well it's fine but look at this view you cannot say that that view is not gorgeous but if i had everything that this person had my bedroom would probably be limit two because i'm just like Ugh. let me just spend the whole day by the pool and the fireplace and the just everything that you could possibly imagine but i forgot about this little cute area i definitely feel like this is where she brings her new customers in and just kind of sits down and talks to them but that is it i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are having an amazing day and if you are new to this channel make sure you are hitting that subscribe button because it does just help our little village to grow make sure you are leaving me comments down below because remember that's where you do shine and make sure you give this video a big sweet thumbs up and make sure all notifications are turned on so you never miss one of my videos and i hope you guys are having an amazing day i love you guys so stinking much don't forget no residential use all the objects use the hidden objects use the pool and deadline is going to be february 28th i love you guys so much and i'll see you then oh did i mention it was a giveaway huh what about that love you guys bye